But here we go. Let's go on to our next story, which is Ariana Maddox Filling Gaslit by Tom Sandoval. Now, this is according to page six. It says, Ariana Maddox felt gaslit by Tom Sandoval in on-camera confrontation over a fair. So apparently, this is going to be shown on the show, whether it's on one of the extended episodes in this new season or during the reunion. We're going to see it, okay? Okay, here we go. Ariana Maddox and Tom Sandoval discussed his affair with Raquel during a tent scene filmed for Vanderpump Rules Season 10 on Friday, multiple sources tell Page Six. Insiders close to production say Maddox, 37, felt gaslit by Sandoval, 39, who made a series of excuses for not admitting his infidelity sooner. As previously reported, his affair with Raquel began last summer literally at the latest because we all know it we think it started before then okay ariana walked away from the conversation feeling like she was gaslit by tom a source exclusively tells us on it tells us of the on-camera conversation that took place at the x's shared home in the los angeles valley village enclave Valley Village. They live in the valley. Just, just call it the valley. Okay. <laughs> they they live around. That's the thing. So all the Vanderpump Rules kids, like the ones who got the houses, even though all of them now have lost the houses, except for Stassi, I think, they all live in like the Valley Village area, which is kind of where like Kyle and Dorit live too. They live more like in Encino. Anyway, let's keep going. He gave her several excuses as to why he never copped to cheating. The insider continues. Tom said he didn't tell her about the affair with Raquel because he was worried about how it would impact her mental health, even claiming that he was especially concerned after her grandma died last year. Listen, Tom, 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 what is that is the most disrespectful gaslighting thing you can ever tell someone. And such a betrayal, such a betrayal. And I'll tell you what I mean. If you are someone who is struggling with mental health at times or has mental health issues, the way Ariana has very bravely and strongly, you know, acknowledged. And if we're being honest, I personally think 100% of human beings at some point in time have and or will struggle with their mental health. It is literally a part of being a human being. If anybody tells you they've never struggled in some aspect with their mental health, they're lying and they should seek probably like professional attention ASAP. Every human being on this planet in some capacity have, okay? But say you're strong enough to admit that and then your partner goes and cheats on you with allegedly multiple women for months upon months upon months upon months, And then also with someone who you're close with and then throws that fact in your face and says, well, I didn't tell you because I was worried about your mental health. That is one of the dirtiest, grimiest, most disgusting things you could do to someone that what a horrible, what a horrible person. What a horrible person, Tom Sandoval. If you really said that to her, that is horrible. (sighs) Anyway. Ariana's beloved grandmother, Phyllis Bonnie Cameron, passed away in September of 2022, prompting the reality star to leave the West Coast for some time last year to visit with loved ones in her native Florida. A source previously claimed to page six that Raquel has slept over at Tom and Ariana's house when Ariana has been out of town. Co-star James Kennedy, who was previously engaged to Raquel, also claimed in an Instagram direct message sent to Dumas that the duo's escapades sometimes took place while Ariana was sleeping. Now, that is the story that Ariana was in the guest room and not Ariana, Raquel was in the guest room and Ariana caught Tom coming out of the guest room at about 4 a.m. And obviously she's like, what the hell were you doing? And he was like, oh, I got her some water. Well, number one, how did you know Raquel needed water at 4 a.m. in the middle of the night? 
And number two, last time I checked, Raquel has two working legs. Why wouldn't she just get water herself? But, you know, denial is very real. Denial is very real. And also very disgusting. You're having sex with your mistress literally while your girlfriend is sleeping in the same house. The level of disrespect is unreal. Unreal. And it also makes me believe that the whole affair was more about the risk. It was more about the fact that it was forbidden. It was more about the risk. It was more about, um, you know, the thrill of it, the adrenaline of it because of everything that they've done. You know, Tom Sandoval dressing up as Ariana for Halloween. That's pretty sadistic. You know, paying $12,000 to James Kennedy to help prep for the for the proposal and then smirking, being like, you don't have to pay me back to James all the time, knowing that you're having sex with his girlfriend slash fiance. Now slash X. That's pretty sadistic. That's why I don't think these two are really going to last. I think Raquel thought she was that chick. Tom was using her for the thrill in sex. And it's going to, and as we've seen, it's blown up in their face. Okay, let's keep going. Now, insiders say that Sandoval used his and Maddox's home, a modern farmhouse purchased for $2.7 million, for $2.2 for $2 million, sorry, for $2 million in 2019 per variety to justify his stalled confession. Both parties are still living there as they navigate their split. So if you didn't see, I did another video on this update. So when TMZ had caught Tom, you know, with all the bags and stuff, leaving the house, those weren't his bags and suitcases to, to move out of the house. Those was That was the merchandise that he was going to sell at the um, most extras concert in Anaheim. So he wasn't moving out. He was just getting merch that he was going to sell that night. So they're still living together, which I can't imagine. I, I literally couldn't imagine being in the same house with him at this point. The fact that they own a home together was also brought up, another source explains, and how he thought that would make their breakup even more complicated. The insider notes that Maddox felt perturbed by the conversation and has since confided in her Pumper's pals, including Katie Maloney, Sheena Shea, Lala Kent, and show alum Kristen Doty, who are disappointed by how they feel Sandoval is handling the breakup. Ariana has recapped what happened with her friends and castmates, the majority of whom are disappointed Tom seems unable to take accountability for his actions or express substantial remorse, the source says. He's a narcissist, in my opinion. I'm not a doctor. I don't diagnose. He doesn't have remorse. He doesn't. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. He feels 100% validated and justified in everything that he's done. And the gag is he doesn't care about Raquel either. He's also just using her. I think Raquel thought she was going to move into that $2 million home. And she was going to secure the bag with Tom. Because I, because I don't care what any report says. Raquel is not worth $30 million. Like, let's just call a thing a thing. She's not. I think that she thought I'm going to upgrade from James. I'm going to leave James West Hollywood apartment. And I'm going to move into this $2 million Valley Village, you know, farmhouse style country house. And she was looking for the come up. But I don't think that Tom Sandoval is really going to wife her down like that. I think one day he'll get married and have kids and do all that, but it won't be with Raquel. It'll be with somebody completely different. This isn't going to last, in my opinion. But I want to know what your thoughts. If you think they are going to last and it's true love and they're going to get married and live happily ever after, feel free to say that too. You know, all opinions are always welcomed here, okay? So all opinions are welcome. All right, here we go. Of course, they've been rallying behind her in the past few days. Page Six has reached out to reps for Bravo, Ariana, and Sandville for comments. Tom addressed the cheating scandal in a statement shared via Instagram on Saturday night. Hey, I fully understand and deserve your anger and disappointment towards me, but please leave Tom Schwartz, my friends, and family out of this situation, he wrote in part. 
Sandoval also urged fans not to direct their anger over his indiscretions at his Schwartz and Sandy's business partners, seemingly responding to a, a flood of negative Yelp reviews and calls for a boycott of the Hollywood establishment. However, the Tom Sandoval and the most extras front men who described himself as, quote, one of the most hated people in America during a Friday night concert in Anaheim failed to apologize directly to Ariana or even mention her name in his statement, a, cho um, a choice that was met with fierce criticism from his Vanderpump Rules castmates. Where is the mention of hurting Ariana? No apologies for her, Katie wrote on her Instagram story. Meanwhile, Lala told Tom to shut up and implored his and implored his his employees to quote abort mission via social media. Where is Ariana's apology in this? She added on her own story. It's called narcissism and it's terrifying. Maddox discovered Sandoval and Raquel full on affair Wednesday night after Tom's band show at Tom Tom in West Hollywood. We're told Ariana, who sat front and center to cheer on her then boyfriend, was heartbroken after she found a sexually, a sexually explicit video sent by Raquel on his phone. Ariana then learned that Sandoval and Raquel had been communicating inappropriately for months, an insider alleged, adding that Ariana was blindsided by the cheating. Sources told Page Six on Saturday that Tom and Raquel planned four weeks to tell Maddox about their affair before she uncovered it herself, which again, we're calling BS on. Do you know what I mean? I don't think that they were planning to tell her for weeks. If they were planning to tell her, they would have just told her. I think that Tom was, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Baiting his time, waiting his time. I think he was egging. I think he was breadcrumbing Raquel. Like, I'm going to tell her. I'm going to tell her. I'm going to tell her. Oh, I can't tell her because of the house. I can't tell her because we're filming. I can't tell her because her grandmother died. I can't tell her. I can't tell her. I can't tell her. And I think Raquel was ready for him to, you know, tell because she was ready to move into that $2 million house. You see what I'm saying? Classic story of the guy who's married or in the relationship telling the mistress, I'll break up soon. I'll break up soon. I'll tell her soon. I'll tell her soon. You know what I mean? I think that Tom would have stayed with Ariana and just written it all the way out. Oh, thank you, Teresa, for the super sticker. That is so sweet. Biding his time. Thank you. Yes, biding his time. Thank you so much. Hey, Teresa, thank you so much for the super sticker. I really appreciate that. I think Tom was just biding his time because as we're going to discuss um, in another story coming up, of course, just like cockroaches, when you see one, there's more. There are more women. And I'm not referring to the women as cockroaches. I don't, I, I don't want to do that, but you know what I mean? Now that we, now that the Raquel affair has come out, of course, now there's even more allegations of more women that he's been cheating with, right? You know? So obviously he wasn't really that in love with Raquel because he's still cheating with other women. Classic story. Oh, I'll tell her as soon as I'll tell her as soon as we'll be together as soon as. I don't think Tom was really going to, you know, wife Raquel up like that. I also think a reason why Tom did this was to get back at James because, again, I think that Tom is very narcissistic and very, very egotistical. And I don't think he was going to let James get away with having sex with Kristen Doty while him and James were supposed to be friends during that whole time. I really don't. Raquel, you really set yourself up for the okie doke. Because to be perfectly honest, Raquel, you had it good. You had it good. You could have been on the show. They were trying to make you uh, a Stasi character. You know what I mean? They were trying to make you an HBIC, even though you don't have that energy. You're not an it girl. You've never had it and you won't ever have it because you're born with it. And you just don't have it, boo-boo. But you could have played your card so differently. So differently. You had us all food with your bambied eyed. Oh, la, la, la. I'm just a victim of James routine. You literally could could have had your pick of, honestly, any other man. You live in Los Angeles. 
there are gorgeous men hit men here, rich men here. But you decided the best course of action was to sleep with James, Peter, Oliver, Tom Schwartz, and Tom Sandoval. That's what you thought you were going to do with your time on this reality TV show? Run through five of the male, literally all of the men on the show. You ran through all of the men on the show. The only person on the show that you haven't been with that we know of is Jax. And that's probably because Jax got fired before you could. And who knows what happened when Jax was on the show? Who knows? That's what you thought you would do? See, that's what is, see, I'm on one right now because it's so crazy the opportunity that certain people have and how they absolutely squander it. Like Raquel, you had the opportunity to be on not just a national, but an international show because Bravo is overseas as well. You had the opportunity to be on an international show and completely brand yourself, have a platform. You should have, bro- listen, if it wasn't James, cool, whatever. You should have broken up with James and then you should have been living your best life. You know, Raquel being, you know, late 20s, finding yourself, dipping it and doing it in LA. You, you should have been going on dates, laughing, hooking up with guys, having fun, shopping with Katie, hanging out with Sheena. But this is how you decided to use the opportunity that you were given. Do you know how many people would kill for an opportunity to be on a reality TV show and have that level of a platform? And this is how you chose to use it? You chose to be Tom Sandoval's pawn in his plan to get back at James? Mm. Girl. Girl. Good point, Kristen. Exactly. Brock... (laughs) You know, Sheena better hide Brock at this point. Oof. But I want to know what you guys think. Put it down below. What are your thoughts on this? And stick around, my candy canes, because we got some more stories coming up. But before we do that, you know what to do. Go ahead and like this video. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live. Also, be sure to share this with a friend because a kiki is always better with community. And also check out our description box down below and join our newsletter. It's free. It's popping. Lots of self-care stuff. You'll love it. So with that, let's